Welcome back to the 2015 Colorado State Fair Parade, Colorado Gem of the West. Here are your hosts for today's parade, Kicking Country's Dave Moore and PCC's Michael Engel. Welcome back to the Colorado State Fair Parade. I'm Dave Moore from Kicking Country Radio. And Michael Engel from the Center for New Media at Pueblo Community College. We were talking off camera, Dave. Isn't it one of the greatest parts of this parade to see these kids out here? Oh, yeah. They're excited to see all of the animals and the music and all of that. That's right. They're, they're so, so much fun. They, they're excited to see the bands and the, the kids and the, you know, from the high schools. And, yeah, it's just, just, just great. Great family, great family event. And uh, we're honoring someone who's been part of the Pueblo and Southern Colorado community for many years. Uh, State Fair Manager Chris Wiseman, who's moving on to a Colorado State job. And uh, we're sad to see him go, but he sure has done a great job in the years that he's been here. It is, and it's nice that the State Fair Board decided to honor him with this Marshall title. And uh, yeah. I think it's bittersweet. Uh, he's been so involved, actually, from the 1990s forward and really has been right. an instrumental uh, character in keeping the Colorado State Fair Parade here in Pueblo and, and just making it a great venue and a great event. And whenever you talk to him, even right in the middle of the fair, he's always smiling and, oh, yeah, it's a great day. We're having fun and just ready to go, ready to keep it happening. And you uh, caught up with him here a while back and had a chance to speak with him. I did. Out of his busy schedule, I caught up with him uh, at the Colorado State Fair uh, grounds, and we had a chance to visit. All right. Let's take a look at that. Colorado State Fair General Manager Chris Wiseman. Uh, let me let me take you back to 1996. Governor Romer at the time brought you on board, uh, and from '96 forward, uh, you've had a heck of a career here at the Colorado State Fair. Right. I didn't actually become a State Fair employee till 1998 when Bob Jackson asked me to stay, uh, but it seems like just a moment ago to me. Uh, but I've enjoyed every minute. Leaving the fair is bittersweet, but I still get to stay on the fair board and whoever becomes the state fair general manager will be a direct report. So I'll still be involved in, in the fair, but I'll take it on more and more of a bigger role at the Department of Agriculture. Let's talk about that new position okay. for you and, and what will you exactly be doing in that new position and what are the challenges? Well, mostly I'll do whatever the commissioner tells me to do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I oversee six divisions uh, at the Department of Agriculture, including the Colorado State Fair. And so um, I'll spend a lot of time uh, working at the legislature and working with other federal and state agencies on various issues that affect uh, agriculture. Recently, I was down in Durango dealing with some of the issues with the Animas River down there. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, sort of this new phase of my life. It takes me back to in the 80s when I worked for Senator Tim Worth and did projects. Okay. And so it's very similar to that. And I assume one of those components of this new job is working to advocate to keep the fair here in Pueblo, Colorado. Well, the fair is exactly where it should be. Uh, it's been here for 143 years, 114 years right here on these fairgrounds. And so, you know, I'm looking forward to be a uh, to continue to continue to be an advocate for the Colorado State Fair. And, um, you know, this place has been a passion for me for the past 18 years, the last 11 as manager, and it's going to continue to be along with all my other duties uh, involved with the Department of Agriculture. In that last 18 or even in that last 11 as the, as the full manager, what were some of the great things that you saw that you feel very proud about that you brought forward? You know, working with my facilities guy, Joseph Dean, who's retiring this year, uh, we were able to bring in about $14 million worth of improvements of state money here, uh, water and sewer and new electrical systems. Uh, you know, uh, what I've enjoyed most is working with the people. The things we were able to accomplish here were uh, partly or mostly because of the staff. And uh, I worked with a tremendous group of people this whole, uh, whole time, both on staff and as board members going back to uh, Bob Jackson, uh, Vince Vigil, now Art Bosworth, uh, Bill Hibble, Dave Galley. I mean, I could go through a long, long list. Uh, Mike uh, Salardino, great people who have helped us keep this fair right here in Pueblo. Incredible. 2015 Colorado State Fair. What can folks expect when they come out this year? Well, they're going to see a lot of improvements on the grounds uh, that we've done as far as at the Livestock Pavilion. Uh, they can see some great on-grounds attractions. Uh, we got some great concerts this year. But more importantly, they can come and see what we do for 4-H and FFA kids across the state. In the last five years, we've put $2.3 million of, of uh, junior livestock sale money and premium money into young wow. people's hands across the state. And so that's what I'm most proud of is our involvement with 4-H and FFA, FFA and continuing the legacy of agriculture in the state of Colorado. That's phenomenal. And finally, but certainly not least, 
2015 Colorado State Fair Parade, you will be the Grand Marshal. It seems very fitting on your way out as the general manager. Your thoughts on this great bittersweet moment that's coming up? Well, you know what? Um, what I was thinking at the time is they probably had a lot of people turn them down, but I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful for the opportunity. Uh, I've always had a great working relationship with the Chamber of Commerce. A lot of things we couldn't do here without Rod Slyhoff and Absolutely. his staff. The city of Pueblo, the county of Pueblo, um, this institution is here because of all those people who care so deeply about it, and that's why it's going to continue to be here. Absolutely. We appreciate you taking time today. There's a lot of preparation going on here at the Colorado State Fairgrounds. Folks, stand by because uh, just coming up in minutes, the 2015 Colorado State Fair Parade. And here's your Grand Marshal, Chris Wiseman. Thanks again. We appreciate Thank your you time much. today. I appreciate it. Stand by, guys. Parade's coming. <laughs>